If you have high blood pressure, you often hear that coffee raises your blood pressure. So you wonder to yourself, should you stop drinking coffee? That's what we'll explore in this video. My name is Igor. I'm the author of the Amazon best-selling book called High Blood Pressure Reversal Secrets. As well, I run a personal training company that specializes in helping people reduce their high blood pressure without medications in one month to three months. So let's talk about that. Does coffee increase high blood pressure in people with existing high blood pressure? Well, that's where the research comes in. So coffee does increase blood pressure in people with and without high blood pressure. So it increases, according to one study, about four over two millimeters of mercury, which is not a lot. That's in people with high, without high blood pressure. And that increase lasts for about three hours. So this is not a product, it's just about a three hour increase. However, if you drink three or four cups of coffee a day, then most of your waking hours are spent with slightly higher blood pressure. Now, that doesn't mean it's high blood pressure, but that's if you don't have high blood pressure. If you do have high blood pressure, by comparison, coffee elevates your blood pressure more than it does somebody without high blood pressure. According to one study, drinking coffee in people with existing high blood pressure can elevate um, hypertension as much as 8.1 over 5.7 millimeters of mercury, which is pretty significant. And that increase lasts longer than three hours. So there is a difference in the action of caffeine between people with hypertension and people without hypertension. But the question we really want to know is what's the problem with high blood pressure? Well, high blood pressure is a marker for heart attacks and ultimately death. <laughs> so you don't want to die. So the real question is do these elevations in blood pressure in both people with and without high blood pressure, do these elevations cause more heart attacks? Fortunately, if you're a coffee lover, the answer is no. Despite these short-term multi-hour elevations in blood pressure, coffee and caffeine does not increase the risk of heart disease and, and, and heart attacks. Now, that is with moderate coffee consumption. That moderate is considered up to about 300 to 400 milligrams of caffeine per day, which is the equivalent of about three to four small cups of coffee per day. So if you're wondering, does coffee cause hypertension? No, coffee does not cause hypertension. We have to differentiate between high blood pressure and hypertension. And the difference is very simple. High blood pressure is an elevation in blood pressure. That elevation could be very short term or it could be long term. In other words, if you exercise during, the, during your exercise, you're going to have high blood pressure. You finish your exercise session and you relax, your blood pressure goes down to normal. That is high blood pressure, but it's very short term. Hypertension is a chronic elevation of blood pressure even when you're sleeping. So coffee does not cause hypertension. Coffee causes high blood pressure for a short period of time, usually about three hours.